Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you what we received in the April Sophie and Toffee Elves box as well as show you how to make a pen or pencil holder or a stained glass lantern using the supplies that we received. If you would like to know more about these Sophie and Toffee subscription boxes you can check out the information down below. So in the April Elves box we received a lampshade silicon mold, two part epoxy resin, black 3D UV resin, coloured resin in the three primary colours, an LED light, stained glass designs, and then the premium add-ons were a round silicon mold, gold 3D UV resin, coloured UV resin in purple and magenta, gold metal chain, and some larger stained glass artwork designs. So for this video, I decided that I wanted to make the stained glass lamp. So here I am taking my two part epoxy resin and also my silicon mold. And I'm just going to go ahead and weigh the two parts on my scale. Because this is a one to one ratio resin, you want to make sure that you have the same amount of part A and part B. Once both parts were all measured, I then went ahead and began mixing them together. You'll notice that when you mix epoxy resin that it firstly turns cloudy before it then turns clear again. Once my resin was clear and ready to go I then poured it into my mold and you want to let this cure overnight for at least 24 hours. So this is what the piece looks like once it was all cured and I demolded it. Now I'm going to begin making my design. So here I'm taking the black 3D resin and I'm just going to use this to separate the different sections on the lampshade design. So all I did was squeeze it straight out from the bottle and then because it is UV resin you want to cure this under a UV light or a lamp or out in the sun. I then just continued going around the whole lantern adding the black resin and curing each part in between. So this is what it currently looks like. It was then time to add some designs. So I decided that I wanted something a little bit different from an original stained glass design. And I ended up going with some of my drawings of my kawaii polymer clay charms. Here you can see that I have very roughly drawn them on my iPad on an app called Procreate just to get an idea of the colors and also what charm designs that I wanted to use. So now it's time to begin adding these onto the lantern. I actually ran out of the 3D UV resin, so I just decided to make my own using some crystal UV resin gel and also some black pigment dye which I just mixed together using a toothpick. Now it was time to start carefully adding the designs onto my lantern so to do this I just used my toothpick kind of like a little pencil and I just kept dipping it into my mixture of black UV gel and drawing the designs freehand copying off what I had created on my iPad. This part was quite time consuming however it did work really well doing it like this and I was able to get some very small details happening using the toothpick and I was able to be really precise. You can see here that I also took the gold UV resin and I used this for the horn of my unicorn donut design. So here's what all my designs look like. So I have a sloth, a succulent cat, a chubby dinosaur, a rainbow star, a unicorn donut and finally a red panda. Next up we have the fun part of adding some colour to our designs. So here are all the coloured jewellery resins that were in the box and I'm also going to be using some colours of glitter to put in the background as well. In saying that I'm actually starting off with the background colours. So here I am taking the magenta UV resin and I'm just pouring some out onto a sheet of baking paper and then just tapping in a little bit of pink glitter and mixing this all together. Then to apply the resin onto the lantern I just used my paintbrush which I would usually use for resin anyway for glazing and I just made sure that the whole area was covered that I wanted and then I just cured this under my UV lamp. I also decided to add the background colour onto these triangle parts beneath the design to keep it all matching. Next up was the orange background and to make the orange I poured out some of the yellow UV resin and then just a small amount of red which I then mixed together and again added some orange glitter this time. I found some of the colours like this orange here were quite light so I did add two layers to darken them up a little bit. So 
So if you're wanting to make a green, what I did was poured out a large amount of yellow and just a small amount of blue resin and I mixed the two together and then here I'm also adding in my glitter as well. I then decided to fill out the other triangles around the bottom of the lantern just with some transparent white UV resin. So I took some regular UV resin, mixed in a tiny little bit of white liquid pigment as well as some iridescent glitter and then here I'm just using my toothpick to kind of brush that on. So once all the background colours were done, it was then time to start adding the colours to the designs. So for some of them I just poured the resin straight onto the lantern like this star one but for others I actually mixed the colours on some baking paper and then just brushed it on similar to what I did with the background. Some of the colours I found were actually very transparent, so to darken them up a little so you could see them a little bit more easily, I actually mixed in some of my chalk pastels just to give the colours a little bit more contrast and help them to stand out a bit more. So here's what my finished pen holder slash lantern looks like. I'm really happy with the way this one turned out and I think it's very much my style considering it does have my clay charm designs kind of painted onto it. I really love that I was able to make it a kawaii style stained glass design and I also like that I'm able to use it as a pen or pencil holder which is very practical but it also looks super pretty when you pop in the little LED light into the center and then place it in a dark spot. So that is all I have for this video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.